It's quite impressive when you think about it that there are 14 lakh students writing the NEET exam for only 78,000 seats, close to 78,000 seats. The chance of getting in, 5%. And less than 3% if you want a merit seat. So why do so many people aspire to be a doctor? One reason is, if you look at it, if you look at Australia, there are 3.3 doctors for every 1,000 people. Austria has got 5 doctors for every 1,000 people. Germany, 3.3 doctors for every 1,000 people. UK, 2.8 to 2.9 doctors for every 1,000 people. 2.5 in US for every 1,000 people. And they're complaining that they're short of doctors. India, 0.7 for every 1,000 people. For a compelling reason for more people to aspire to be doctors. Even more compelling reason is, if you become a doctor, not only will you be helping people and families, you will also have a career for life and a good prospects for a lifetime. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about five things for information that will help you to know about the different types of medical colleges in the country, how many seats are there, how can you apply for it, uh, the fee structure and the types of seats in there, and finally, the counseling process uh, for the different types of medical colleges. So the first thing, different types of medical colleges. There are government medical colleges, around 290 medical colleges, 218 private medical colleges, then there are 44 deemed colleges, 15 AIMS colleges, then there are centrally funded colleges, and there is the JIPMA colleges. If you look at the government colleges by state, most of the government colleges are in Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Karnataka, UP, Gujarat, and so on. But if you look at the number of students applying by state, there are almost 2.2 lakh students applying from Maharashtra, 1.7 from UP, 1.3 from Rajasthan, 1.13 from Karnataka and so on. So the chances of a student from Karnataka getting into the state quota is easier than the chances for a student from Maharashtra getting into the state quota because number of seats by number of applicants is low in Maharashtra compared to Karnataka. So as I've told earlier, there are only 15% of the seats reserved for the All India Quota. That's 6,000 seats. And the number of students who will apply for it is all over the country. If you imagine it, there are 7.9 lakh students clearing the need, and they are technically eligible if they meet the cutoffs to apply for these seats. So the only reason that you would apply for the All India Quota, I can only think of three reasons, there might be more. One is you've got a very good score in need. The next is, your state doesn't have very good colleges and you want to apply for the state colleges in another state. The third is you want to migrate to another state and so on. If you want to look at the rankings for your colleges, one of the rankings that you could rely on is a ranking by the Government of India. That's called NIRF, that is National Institute Ranking Framework. If you type NIRF medical rankings, you'll get the list there. Some of the top colleges in the country as per NIRF are Ames, Christian Medical College, Madras Medical College, Kasturba Medical College, St. John's, and so on. The list is there, so please check it out. So, those are the government seats. 15% through MCC, 85% through the state counseling process. Now let's look at the private medical colleges. The counseling for all the seats in the private medical colleges happens through the state counseling process. The seats in them, which is pretty much like 29,000 seats, broken down by state by state. If you look at it, majority of the seats are filled either by the government quota in private medical colleges or the private quota in these colleges followed by NRI and management seats. It changes from state to state. For example, if you are in Karnataka, 40% of the seats go to the private uh, quota, 40% goes to the, um, the state quota, and another 20% goes to NRI and management. It also changes if the college is a private minority college. If it's a private minority college, it goes 15% to 20% for the state quota, 55% to the private quota, another 20% to the NRN management quota. I've given you a statistics for Karnataka here. Most of the seats in Karnataka in private medical colleges are filled by the private quota, followed by the government quota, followed by the NRA management quota, and the Hyderabad Karnataka quota, and so on. In the private medical colleges, the students from all India are, are eligible to apply to the private seats, the private seats, NRI seats, and the management seats. But the state quota seats or the reservation seats are only meant for people 
in that state. Those are the private medical colleges. Now let's look at the remaining colleges. The remaining colleges are the deemed colleges, Ames, JIPMA or the centrally aided colleges and the Delhi universities. Counseling for all of them, 100% of the seats, happens through MCC. Now let's look at the fee structure for the different types of seats. Generally, there are four types of seats. Either it's a government seat, it's a private seat, it's a seat to a deemed colleges, or a seat to a NRI or the management seat. If you're getting a seat into a government quota, your fees is generally less than one lakh. It changes from college to college, changes from state to state, but generally around less than one lakh. But if you're getting into a private seat, private quota seat, your fees is around seven to eight lakhs on average. If you're getting into a deemed college, around 9.5 lakhs per annum. And if you're getting into an NRI management seat, around 35 lakhs per annum. It's a huge difference. And why is this difference? Because the government seats are generally funded or paid for by the government. The government does a lot of investment on the students so that they become doctors. If you are a student in Ames, the government nearly spends around 1.7 crores on average for you to become a doctor. If you are in a state, colleges, somewhere between 25 lakhs to 45 to 50 lakhs in the four and a half years for you to become a doctor. So this investment is made from the government so that we have sufficient doctors in the country. Now the last thing, the counselling processes. I've mentioned this before. There are two types of counselling. One is counselling by the centre, that is MCC counselling, or the centre counselling by the states. MCC does the counselling for the 15% of the government seats, all the seats in the deemed colleges, Ames, JIPMA, or the central aided colleges. And the state does counselling for 85% of the seats in the government colleges and all the seats in the private medical colleges. That is the private seats, quota seats, the government quota seats, NRI and management quota seats. I hope this video has helped you and I hope this information was useful to you. If it was, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.